We made it. There's Paradise Lake. Here's my spot. And here's Paradise Lake. I love this lake. I've been coming here for years. It is definitely my favorite little lake in the Tahoe area, the back country anyway. It's a place I've brought my son out backpacking many, many times over the years with other friends and uh, been out here with my adult friends without my son. It's a great place to party, great place to just chill and relax and enjoy nature. It's not a great place to fish. I've fished here many times over the years and uh, I've seen plenty, I've seen them swimming by. I have yet to ever catch a single fish here. It's pretty sad. But I brought the hand reel, the Oyito hand reel anyways, and I'm gonna attempt it again. Um, I've heard that the fishing is better over on that side of the lake, but the camping's not so good. Camping is great here. We've got a killer spot. My favorite spot on the lake for camping. Here, I'll give you a little tour. Lots of spots for the tents. Again, there's my spot. Panda's gonna take that nice spot up there. We got a nice fire pit here. However, I don't know if we're gonna be doing fire. Um, it is that time of year where we really shouldn't, but we've got logs to sit on. We've got a big open area. There are plenty of places to go use the restroom up that little ravine there. Uh, there's a really cool rock wall here for checking out. It stays lit up, it gets lit up early in the morning. It's a, uh, yeah. This truly is my paradise out here at Paradise Lake. All right, we've got our camp set up now. Have a little snack, start making dinner soon. Not a bad spot to be. I brought the little lightweight carbon fiber tripod camera's hanging in the tree. I don't know if I'm going to shoot sunset tonight. No clouds in the sky. It's uh, beautiful, but not super impressive. I've shot this lake so many times over the years. Um, but, fingers crossed, the Milky Way is supposed to rise up over that way. Actually, I think set over that way. And uh, I'm hoping to go onto that side of the lake this evening, around 9.30 or so shoot back across the lake towards this direction and get some Milky Way shots above Paradise Lake here. Fingers crossed. But for now, I'm going to go back and uh, make some dinner. Not bad. It's beautiful out. Time to collect some water so I can uh, make dinner. I just brought some dehydrated meals for dinner. You know, typical backpacking food, nice and lightweight. Um, this isn't too far of a hike in, only about five miles from where we parked or seven miles from down at the bottom if you don't have a nice four by to cheat and get up a little higher. Um, but still, dehydrated food makes a nice uh, hike or a little bit nicer so you don't have the heavy weight. I've done hot dogs and things like that and brought it down. It's just, you know, the for me, I don't know, I'm getting older. The uh, lighter weight, the better. So I'm going to collect some water for this evening. And uh, right here looks like a good enough spot. Got the filter back at the campsite and uh, we'll be good to go. What a beautiful spot, huh? Paradise Lake. We had our dinner. I had a little lasagna, dehydrated food. Uh, and now we're gonna go for a little walk. I've got the camera and the tripod. Uh, camera's in my little backpack i got the uh my osprey bag is pretty sweet it uh the top the brain part converts into a little backpack and uh i can put my little camera bag in there and camera and a couple filters and so i'm gonna do that's the lake right there by the way if you can't tell i'm gonna go for a little walk possibly the shoreline over in that direction possibly the other side of the lake okay so i did a couple test shots and Actually, you can see the stars. Even though there's some smoke, you can kind of see it down low there. But you can see the lake a little bit there and some stars. So I think I am going to make the trek over to the other side of the lake. Uh, 
Panda has informed me that he is not going to be joining me, which I completely understand. And it's going to be about a 20, 30 minute hike, but hopefully it'll be worth it. The trail is definitely a little overgrown since last time I've been out here. We had a big winter, which means we had a big grow season this year for all the shrubbery and plant life. In fact, there was still a bunch of wildflowers blooming on the walk out here. It's October, early October, but still crazy. I can't believe how much greenery was out here this year and how many flowers and how many streams were still flowing that are usually dry this time of year. Um, oh, here we go, open back up. All right. I got a bit of a walk. Oh, I got plants stuck on my shoe. There we go. It's nice out. Nice and silent and peaceful. And dark. The moon hasn't risen. Actually, I think it already just set not that long ago before uh, sunset. And so it is dark out, which should help for getting a decent Milky Way shot. Where's the trail? Lost the trail again. Kinda this way, somewhat. The lake's over there, that direction, so as long as I stick to uh, not wandering too far away from the lake, even if I lose the trail, I won't get lost. I'm doing some shots over here. Eh, it's okay. Um, honestly, the Milky Way is up a little higher in the sky than I expected it to be. I thought it was going to be down a little lower this time of night, so technology fail or my ability to read technology fail. Um, I think maybe I went a little too far too around the lake. I, uh, I'm going to have to backtrack a bit and perhaps shoot back up, but there's also this kind of, well, there's still smoke in the air from uh, somebody was having a campfire tonight, which is nice and all, but it's... Um, not what I was expecting, and it, because of the inversion going on, it's just settling down low above the lake, and it's not looking all that great. Kind of blocking the stars down low, too. You can still see the stars up higher in the sky, but it's uh, not what I was hoping for. That happens. So I, I think that maybe if I backtrack and go over that way a bit, um, I might be able to get a composition on the Milky Way with some mountains down low but I just don't know if it's going to happen tonight gonna try though all right I found kind of a cool composition here only as you can see an airplane is flying through my scene right now so I figured I'd take a break and do a little video clip here while I wait for it to fly out I still see that blinking light way out that direction so it's still gonna be in the frame but in maybe a minute or two it'll be gone um, but I found a pretty cool, yeah, I'm happy with this spot up above Paradise Lake out in the Tahoe area. And you can see a little bit of Milky Way there. Um, I think I'm doing, so I'm having a hard time focusing, making sure I'm, I'm tack sharp. There's nothing really to light up with my headlamp and dial in the focus. So I'm doing a little bit of focus bracketing, um, kind of looking up there and just going a little bit to... Uh, you know the right and the left um, and and with the focusing ring and I'll look on the computer and see which one ends up looking best um, But uh, I, I'm uh, what am I at? ISO 1600 an aperture of f 2.8 and a 20 second long exposure that should be quick enough to where I don't really get too many um, too much streaking in the sky of the stars in the sky uh, with the, the wide angle 16 to 35 millimeter lens set at 16 millimeter. Uh, so, excuse me, what am I doing there? There we go. Um, all right, you know what? I think that plane is pretty much gone now. So, I'm going to get a couple more horizontal shots and then I'm going to try some vertical shots and see if I can't get a little bit more of that Milky Way up in the sky. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. The vertical shots of the Milky Way above Paradise Lake here turned out pretty nice on the Canon 5D SR. Uh, what am I at? I'm still at ISO, what was it? Excuse me here. ISO 1600, aperture of 2.8, 20 second long exposure, mirror lockup, 
two second timer, no shutter release cable on the tripod. And uh, I'd say it was a success walking out over here, about a half hour walk from my campsite, which I'm way across the lake. You can't see that, but over that direction. And uh, I think I'm gonna call it a night, go get some sleep and hopefully wake up early for some sunrise shots. However, it's not really forecasted to be a magnificent sunrise. There's not supposed to be any clouds in the sky at all, which is why the Milky Way um, shots are turning out nice. Uh, but yeah, as far as sunrise, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we'll get a little bit of alpine glow on the mountains to make it look nice. Um, and maybe I'll try this again tomorrow night, see if I can't come up with a different composition. Uh, but for now, that was fun. All right, everybody, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good morning. Talking quiet because there's some tents not too tar terribly far from here, but just shot a, shot a pretty nice sunrise out here at Paradise Lake. And uh, gonna keep shooting a little bit here. Um, I'm an ISO 100, aperture of f22, and a 1.3 second long exposure. I've got that graduated neutral density filter, a 1.2 uh, stop, excuse me, 1.24, 1 1.2 neutral density density filter, Lee graduated neutral density filter. I'm a little tired. <coughs> we just had some really nice color to the sky, kind of unexpected. It wasn't supposed to be a good sunrise this morning, but hey, always happy when that happens, especially. Since I backpacked all the way out here and it is a beautiful morning. The water is very still. Oh, we've got this island right over here. Oh, there's a point over here. We got the mountain peak over there and some, yeah, some color to the sky. It was fun. Um, it's past peak a little bit right now, which is why I'm doing video. I uh, was busy shooting during the peak of it, but that was fun worth getting up early for. Actually, you know what? I slept in compared to how I normally sleep. I usually get up at five. I slept in until about 6.15, grabbed the gear and hustled out over here. Not too terribly far, maybe a five minute walk from my tent. And uh, I'm having a blast. I, I think some of these are gonna be keepers. So anyway, I'm gonna get back to it and shoot a little bit more here. Oh, there's still a little bit of color to that sky. Cool scene this is. This is just a little, uh, well, it's not quite a pond. It's actually one of the little kind of fingers off of Paradise Lake coming in here inland a little bit. And there are some really nice, let me see if I can show you that, fall colors in the foreground with a little bit of uh, kind of the, the sunrise colors looking to the east, excuse me, looking to the west instead of the east. And I think this one's gonna turn out pretty sweet. Um, I'm digging it. What do we got going on again? ISO 100 F22, eight second long shot on the Canon 5D SR with 13 to, excuse me, 16 to 35 millimeter lens, a 1.2 graduated Lee neutral density filter, and back to work. That was a fun morning photo shoot, shooting the sunrise. But now I'm uh, back at camp, made myself some oatmeal and uh, enjoying breakfast. I think we're gonna go for a hike way out that direction. There's a uh, summit over there that looks down on uh, Warren Lake. It's a pretty cool spot. You can also look down on Paradise Lake here. Uh, so I think we're going to go for a little day hike today with the camera and some water, of course, maybe lunch. But for now, enjoying breakfast here at camp. There is a trail under all these ferns. It's just so overgrown, it's hard to see. We're going to make a big loop around Paradise Lake. Do the whole thing. This has been a bit of a bushwhack hike through this area of the lake. The uh, trail is not much of a trail anymore. It's so overgrown. But look at this view. 
beautiful. I'm not going to get out the good camera yet, though, because, uh, well, I shot a lot of Milky Way shots last night, and I only brought one battery, and my battery's already starting to run low. So, oops, my mistake. I should have brought a second battery. I know better. Um, but now I'm only going to get out the camera, the Canon camera, when the photo is a definite and not just take a bunch of photos with it. I can do that with the cell phone. We made it over to the uh, view where we've got Warren Lake there. Oh, there's a backpacker right there. And uh, Paradise Lake is right there. You can kind of see it through the trees there. But they've got some controlled burns going on around Tahoe and there is some smoke in the air. You can really see it way off in the distance there. Um, so I don't think I'm gonna bother taking any daytime photos because that just really doesn't look all that photogenic. It's pretty, but as far as printing it up big and putting it on a wall, nah. All right, we're gonna continue our hike. It's a pretty cool spot right here. Get some handheld photos. I've got the tripod in the back of the backpack here, but it's really not necessary. Doing handheld ISO 200, 200th of a second, about F10. And uh, that's, that's good enough. It's sharp enough for this scene. Uh, as far as a small aperture and getting the background sharp. But we got some of those fall colors and some, yeah, leaves turning red, leaves turning yellow. It's uh, out on the islands here. It's super photogenic. I am loving this, and I got quite a few photos, um, verticals, horizontals. We'll see if I got any keepers here, but man, am I having fun. The other side of the lake, I didn't take too many photos of. But we, we've walked around, I've almost made it back to my campsite. Um, I shot some photos around this area this morning too, um, but this is definitely the, the scenic part of the lake with all the little islands and the fall colors turning. The other side, there's actually uh, some controlled burns going on over past the, the little summit there and it was really smoky down that way and not all that great looking but it's nice and clear over here and looking good All right, that's cold. That's very cold. Whew. Needed that though. Okay, I've got my little Yoyito hand reel. And yes, the corner is, or part of it is chipped right there. Um, but it still works. It's out there soaking with a fake worm. Um, I'm gonna reel it in and see if anything's on there. I highly doubt it because I've been to this lake dozens of times and I have never caught a fish. I brought my real fishing pole. Uh, I've brought all kinds of fancy fun lures. Um, so these days I just bring the lightweight Yoyito hand reel since I'm not expecting to catch anything anyways. And I didn't bring a pan or anything to cook a fish anyways, but uh, it's, it's fun to be fishing while hiking around the lake and doing stuff. Let's see. Did you hear all that whining? Whining? Like some little girl was going, oh, it's cold, it's cold. Oh. Couldn't be you though, you're in the water still, right? Oh, it is cold. I'll say it again. Whining. Good luck. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yep. Oh, yeah. It is yeah. cold. Oh, that was a good bath. Tiny little froggy. Can you use that frog as bait? <sighs> oh. 
that would probably make really good bait, but I'm not gonna. Circle of life. That's a wrap. We are done backpacking, or at least camping, the camping part of it for the weekend. And uh, gonna hike out of here, about a five mile hike out of here to where we're parked. And I may take a couple photos along the way, but it has been a beautiful, wonderful weekend. I've had a ton of fun, tons of photography. And uh, yeah, no fish were caught, but hey, that's pretty normal for this. Like, I've never caught a fish here, I can't believe it. Um, but. I did catch tons of fun times and I am, uh, yeah, looking forward to working on these photos I got and the, uh, some will be posted throughout the video, some will be posted at the end. Um, thanks for watching, really appreciate it and uh, you guys all have a great day. Bronco. Got about a, I don't know, mile and a half drive down the dirt road from here, but we are done. That was fun.